I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here on our Blackstone griddle, even at times like this when it's not cooking. Needs to be repaired, man. Listen, you know, we've been doing a lot of cooks and last year- You've been watching a lot of cooks, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. So last year about this time, I ran into an issue where the seasoning just kept pulling up yep. no matter how many times I would kind of try to re-season, fix and do little things like that. It didn't work and we're running into it again this year. If you look at the griddle, you see what it's I'm doing. It's hurting <laughs> for some loving. <laughs> it is, but this is very common, so you can see some of the shiny areas mixed with, it, with some areas that are not as shiny. The non-shiny is almost down to that bare cold rolled steel again, yep. and even some parts that look like it's rusting. This is just a little bit of moisture. In them. I mean, we're in a covered patio, so there's not water getting onto it, but just the humid air really plays mm -hmm. a role. And people ask me all the time, hey, do you use a soft cover? And we, we took off the soft cover now that we're in the covered porch area. I will, now that it's getting cooler, I will be putting a, sure. a soft top back on. Yep. So we decided it was time. I love this kit right here to go out and purchase one. I have one up at my, my house that I purchased from Walmart. And this is a 10 piece Blackstone cleaning kit and it's gonna, we're gonna repair Adam's Blackstone. Today we're gonna show you how we do it. It's a step-by-step -step process. It's very easy. Blackstone, shout out to you for, first of all, this kit and for the easy step steps and take it took the intimidation out for me when I did it to my Blackstone and so uh, now we're excited to show you uh, how we do it on Adams. That's right. Uh, we do have a Lowe's literally a mile and a half down the street from me so we picked this up. This is the culinary kit. Now you've um, seen us do a full resurface. Yeah resurface. This exactly. is different. This is we're going to just repair and we want to show you that process. Brett's an expert at it and he taught me so let's get with it. Here this. we go. So real quick to get started we do have the kit. We've cracked it open here. We've got the pads right here. Uh, here's the scraping tool. This is is the Lowe's scraper tool. A little bit different from the one you get at Walmart, but it works just the same. And the star of the show, this is the pumice stone. This is what's going to do the magic to kind of pull up. We have found these rub away, so this doesn't work to really pull up the seasoning, just to really soften and smooth parts for when we're gonna go ahead and re-season. So all I'm gonna do is take off the plastic that's around that, and then uh, we'll get ready to rock so right and roll. right here where I've got a lot of the rough, Area. I'm just gonna take this and I'm not digging in. I'm just lightly scraping this. You can see I'm getting a little bit of seasoning pulling up. While there's different colors, you can definitely feel this is a lot more smooth. So we'll just go over this a little bit more and then uh, we'll go ahead and get to the next phase. One thing I will say, you gotta be careful with the pressure and that's why we don't apply a lot. This will bend, so we're careful with the pressure we're applying to make sure that we're not gonna bend it. So, also that second round is just about done. So, what we wanna do, we're gonna take some paper towels, just wipe it down and I can feel it's a lot smoother. This is, the paper towel isn't grabbing anywhere. So that just tells me it's just about there. That's all the black gunk from what we just scraped up. The purpose of the scouring pad is to pull up any excess food. We actually got this smooth. We really won't need this. So this is more like if you're doing your basic cleaning, Oh, the bird wants to know more about it. So we're, we don't really need that for today. So we're gonna move on to our next stage, which is actually using the cleaning brick. So we do actually love that Blackstone provides this. There's different stages for cleaning what you need. This comes with the cleaning kit. We are actually doing a refinishing. We're gonna fix this up. So this is basically what we're looking at right here. We're gonna be using the cleaning brick to refinish this. So the next step is now that this is pretty much smooth, we just wanna really get it good. So we're gonna use a little bit of oil, two to three tablespoons of oil and in a circular motion, we're just gonna rub the, the brick on there to really uh, just level the seasoning really before we it's, it's all, get a re-seasoning. Think of it as we're sanding it, so to speak. Right, there you go. And we're just gonna do this on all the parts of the griddle that need this little repair just to smooth this out. That
That is nasty. We're gonna go ahead and just wipe this down and see where we're at. If it's not super smooth, we can repeat the process wherever we need to, but you can feel the grime just pull up on that. We're gonna take our scraper and just get any loose residue at this point. Just scrape it and push it back. We had already started wiping, which is the next step anyway, so we're gonna finish wiping. So now that we've done this, we're gonna get the excess residue, and then you're gonna use oil and a paper towel to just keep wiping until it goes from that. I don't know if you can see, it might look a little dirty. It's a little darker. We're gonna go over it one more time, but that's what you want, where that is almost just spick and span, perfectly clean. We're ready to start seasoning. So we're gonna do one more time like this, and then we're gonna go ahead and just speed up the seasoning process, which you've seen us do a seasoning video. It's just laying the flaxseed oil and doing that. We'll let that uh, speed up so you can watch that process. So we can see this turn from ugly into really beautiful. Well, all in a day's work, I gotta say. <laughs> it seems like a lot of work. The whole scraping and wiping down process, maybe 20 minutes total. Yeah, in fact, from the time that we fired up and started, it's been maybe about an hour total. So. That's just the seasoning portion. We seasoned it four times. This thing is awesome. There's still some parts that are a little bit auburn, not all the way black, perfectly black, but that happens over time with cooking. And we don't want to rot mine. Anyone that's new to the Blackstone or Griddle cooking, when you see those auburn colors, you, see, you think it's rust. It's, it's not, not rust. It's a, a natural auburn coloring that comes with seasonings. Right. So hopefully this helps you if you're a seasoned griddler and you just are wondering about, do you have to resurface the entire griddle like we've done in the past? You don't. This is a great quick repair. We are sitting out here at Poolside Kitchen. The pool's right here. We got football off to the side. What a way to spend it. What uh, a way Saturday to spend Saturday, Saturday for yeah. sure. And now we got some food we're gonna throw down on this beast. By the way, we hope this was informative and helped you. If you have any questions, put it below. We try to make sure we cover all the information for re-seasoning this. Sometimes it's, it does become difficult when you've done this enough. Mm -hmm. Did we cover everything, especially if you're new? We hope this how-to instructional really helps you know exactly what to do to repair your griddle. You don't always have to completely resurface, strip it down, sandblast, whatever it is that you do. And you can also get find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram, and we do try to get to all the questions so you can find us on all the social uh, sites as well. Right. Don't forget, if you did like this, if this did help you, give this a thumbs up. It really lets the YouTube world know that this video is beneficial, so we really appreciate that. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise store. We do have a link to that in the description below this video where you can find a lot of goodies. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions. It works closely with Crossroads Missions. Crossroads Missions does amazing service work and we are so honored to get to be a part of them. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their service. And we love being a part of that, like I said. 
Brett, we also have a Patreon page. Yeah, big shout out to our Griddle Entourage. Entourage. We love you guys so much for all your support that you give us, and uh, we just appreciate you want information for that. Our Patreon info is posted below as post well. Post below. He's on his way. Woo, one day. Post below, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and of it's course. It's been a while. It's been too long. Yes, and of course, thank you simply for being here. That shows support as well. Right, and we really do appreciate it. It's not always cooking. We love it, but sometimes we got to knock these out because we really want to make sure we show the true process of everything that goes on with this. So again, we're just happy that you're here along for the journey, but thank you so much for being here. Brett, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on.